Do you find the answers it gives you, are they usually good, accurate? Um, does it make mistakes? How frequently does it make mistakes? <laughs> it maybe doesn't make mistakes? Yeah. Um, how I do guess you find that? This is the answer that uh, answers the question. We're still here, right? AI yeah. hasn't took our jobs because AI is still something that you need to teach it. You need to tell him what to do and how to do it, right? And sometimes the answer that it gives you, they need to be put through your human filter. Sometimes the answers are correct. Sometimes they tend to be a bit on the utopia side of things. They go really bonkers. You cannot do it in reality because, again, AI doesn't take into consideration one thing, the human factor. It thinks theoretically, right? It kind of averages out, I think, the Try to even input everything data, out. In a way, exactly. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's right. I don't know if it's wise. I don't know if it's... But in theory, you could use all kinds of AI tools for a complete flow. Like, you know, uh, tell it to analyze Jira results, uh, tell it to read documents, tell it to write an email to the client, tell it to send the email to the client. <laughs> and in theory, the client could get the weekly report with conclusions and recommendations and whatever, and you've never touched it. You could do it in theory, of course, but again, I don't think it's the scope of yeah. generative AI to be used like that, right? So I... I I want to and I tend to leave the creative side for me. For you. Because yeah. this is the challenge of the job, right? right? And that's why I have this job, mm -hmm. because I like to be challenged in more creative ways. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want to keep generative AI doing this stuff that I don't feel like yeah. doing, yeah. right? 